In Congress Heights, one of Washington's oldest African-American congregations published a book. I'm working with Rehoboth Baptist Church, which is currently located in southeast Washington, D.C., to help them document 150 years of existence here in Washington, D.C. Yes, in many ways, the, the uh, story of Rehoboth follows the history of the city and, uh, and particularly the African-American community here in Washington. Uh, the um, Rehoboth was founded during the turmoil of the Civil War of 1864. Uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, re-elected. And just days after his election, early in November, on November 11th, uh, a group of African Americans met in the front room of an African American woman named Hannah Johnson. And that was the beginning of Rehoboth Baptist Church. We wanted to show the younger generations that's coming up now what took place for eight, before this time of 1864, and we're still here because a lot of the community and the children in the church don't understand what was, what happened, and how they fought, you know, to and how they tall and how they slaved, how they were in slavery, and they wanted this church so badly that they wouldn't give up. We went to the Library of Congress. They want a copy of the book. We went to Martin Luther King Library. They want a copy of the book. And the American um, Baptist Society, they want a copy of our book. And so other churches, they're so excited for us, and we're excited for ourselves because this is a great milestone for us to be still in existence after all these years, beginning back in 1864. The D.C. Community Heritage Project grantees demonstrate the rich diversity of our neighborhoods, cultures, and experiences. Thank you for sharing in the conversation.